Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to talk about part two of these AC Unity uh, magazines, right? These MP5 magazines that we're doing a little bit of torture testing-ish kind of stuff to it. Uh, we threw it around a little bit, we dropped it around a little bit. Today we're going to do something a little bit different, a little bit of the same, just to kind of extend the testing. So, let's get straight into it. Let's go for it. Testing part two, I guess, of the AC Unity MP5 mags. Alrighty guys, so let's put this, uh, the AC Unity, we did some testing on it last week, I believe it was. Um, we're going to do a little bit more this week. Um, let's just, let's do the same kind of thing. We'll throw it down range. I'm not, I'm still not going to do that drop test where I put it in the gun and drop the gun. Because this is stamped metal, I do not want to risk damaging this firearm. I, even though I don't think it necessarily would, I don't want to risk it. Alright, not right now, not with what's going on. Not right now. Um, the magazine itself, I don't care if I break it. That's why I bought it. Uh, but I don't want to break the gun. All right. I don't want to bend anything that I can't fix right now. All right. So uh, we're going to fire a couple rounds through it. There we go. And then we'll just chuck it around, stomp on it. I might, I'll run over it with the truck. You know, we'll do some stupid stuff that you probably will never run into. But some people do it for tests and things. So I don't care what they do. But we're going to do our own kind of thing. And I don't see any ant hills. There aren't really any ant hills because that's what we did last time. They're not last time, but whenever I did the shield, shield arms mags. Anyway, let's just do a function check real quick on this guy. All right. Leave him loaded. We're checking the mag, not the gun. Now let's go chuck it. Uh, one round came out. <laughs> that's not good. This guy came out, and we got plenty of sand and nasties in there. Fire a couple rounds. All right. Ooh, I took it out too early. Too early. Should have checked it. That's why you should fire a full, full magazine. All right, here's the magazine. All right, he looks okay. When I took the magazine out, I heard it go click. Not like a misfire click. But you see that? This firearm is out of battery. Pull it back, pull the charging handle back a little bit. Ah, so we did have a misfeed. Hey, hey, hey. That's why you gotta check stuff. Okay, we had one round come out, two rounds come out. That is interesting, okay? Let's do that same thing again. That is interesting. I've never really had that MP5 mess up like that. Never really did, okay? And this is with some nice, hot uh, 124 grain stuff. So let's chuck this guy out there again. All right, and I'm gonna go check it. I'm gonna make sure I get some sand in here. There we go. Completely, th this doesn't happen in real life. Even as a cop, I never rolled around in the sand like this. But we got sand on there. I'm going to knock that part off. That's fine. Um, but there's definitely sand and stuff in the magazine. Okay, so we're going to put that in the gun. If it will even go in the gun. First, let's lock this back so we can load it easier. Okay. Actually, there was a pebble in there, wasn't there? Not trying to load pebbles into my gun and break my gun. So pebble come out. Sand is fine. I don't care about sand. Rocks, I'm not putting rocks in my chamber. Okay, there's certain things I will do, certain things I won't do. Okay, so he locked in there. Not because you shoot from that angle, that's okay. Let's just do five rounds. Okay, okay, five rounds. Made it through five rounds. Still one in the chamber, still hot gun, put the gun down. Let's check this guy back out there again. Let's go put some more dirt in it. Here's a round that came out. So this guy's losing rounds. <sighs> yeah, I don't know if a standard MP5 will do this, uh, but he's losing rounds. When you go chucking him around, um, it might be just a simple fact this is like a staggered, you know, staggered fed magazine. Um, I have no idea. I have no idea. But one round came out, so we're going to put that guy back in because I'm not into wasting ammunition right now. Uh, okay, and then we'll put some 
put some dirt on there. Yeah, yeah, put some dirt on there. All right, <clears throat> get the rock out. But there's dirt down in there, that's for sure. Listen, listen. Yeah, that's dirty. All right. <clears throat> Get that guy locked in there. Okay, let's see if I can break my gun now for y'all. Hope you appreciate it. Whew. Does shoot crap back at you a little bit though. Well, there you go. Um, even with all that crap and nastiness, even with all that, it worked great flawlessly. No, it didn't. It didn't. It, it obviously didn't because, uh, yeah, listen to that. Whoo, that is nasty, 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 nasty. Um, that is crazy. No, we, we saw firsthand some failures that this thing had. And I wish I'd have caught that before I ripped the magazine out um, to, to test it again to see what exactly was going on. Had it held back all the way, but then it had two rounds, so it was double feeding. So something was off. Something was off. But then again, we are introducing we are introducing dirt and sand. Sand, not so much the the dirt, the fine silt stuff, but the sand, the grit that like it's not supposed to be in these guns, right? This these aren't made to function full of dirt and everything, as far as I know. Yeah. Um, anyway, so let's let's kind of do the same thing with a P, uh, with the KCI magazine because I've had no issues with those either. But they're steel, and I'm gonna see if the if the rounds jump out of those as well. Um, because I I really have no, nothing to compare it to. Maybe that's a standard thing. MP5 mags they'll chuck their rounds if you throw them around. Let's check that real quick. All right. So we got 20 rounds in this guy. I didn't fill, fill it all the way up, but 20 rounds. Take this guy. Check it across. I don't see him losing rounds. He's feeding from the top right. I mean, top left, not top right. Play soccer with it. Or just top right, never mind. All right, so he's in there. There was stuff coming out the bottom, but you hear it? You can hear that airplane. <laughs> There's an airplane flying around up there having some fun. All right, so 20 rounds. Locks in there fine. Loads fine. Let's see if it fires fine. Nope, that's all she wrote and I flinched. That's okay. That's all she wrote. So she fired fine. She did what she was supposed to do. I didn't see anything but smoke coming out of here right now. That's actually kind of cool. I love it when that happens. It's just cool. It's just neat. Anyway, um, I didn't see any rounds pop out. So maybe that's a failure of those AC Unity magazines. That if you really chuck them around and do stupid crazy stuff to it, then maybe you'll have some issues with, you know, rounds coming out. And that, that could very well be a thing. I'm more worried about the feed lips breaking, right? That, that would be a, a, a deal breaker, right? Because if it's that flimsy, nah, out of, out of the question, I don't want it. That being the case, let's run over it with a car. I've got a Tundra. Technically not a car, a truck. But let's run over it and, uh, yeah, let's let's see if that breaks it, okay? Because I got it, I got it to break, I got it to destroy. I'm not gonna intentionally like cut it in half and break it, but running it over on gravel, yeah, that that, that should see if it squishes back and squishes into place. Because a steel magazine, I'd be worried it would crush it and bend it. Polymer magazine, I don't know. Let's check it out.
There she is. <laughs> I think that shows, I don't know what that shows, but we ran over it. Um, twice, okay? Forwards and backwards. And nice and gritty, nasty grossness. Let's see if it runs. Oh my goodness. All right, trying to do a one cut so y'all know I'm not cheating. Yowzer, okay, let's zoom back out because you're zoomed way in. You don't need to be zoomed in all the way. Here we go, here we go, here it comes, here it comes. Yep, here we go. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, 30 rounds. I don't see it. Okay, let's let's look at it. Let's look at it nice and close. I don't see. I do see, but I don't see anything bad. Um, get some light on this feller here. All right, I don't see any cracks. I see plenty of scrapes, and I see a lot of dirt. Okay, lots of dirt. I don't see any structural integrity uh, violations or whatever term should be used. So, let's see if it works with all that nasty dirt. Mm. Listen, it chambered. I should be wearing glasses. All right, here we go. Hopefully I don't hit you with brass because the camera's expensive. And that, that's all she wrote right there. Um, interesting, very, very interesting. Um, Pastor Danny's trying to call me. I'll call you back later in just a minute. Um, I'm surprised, I'm actually very surprised and I'm very, I'm very happy, I'm very happy. I was recording, shoot, sometimes I do these things where I'll, like, I'll have done all that and I wouldn't have recorded and I'll be like, oh. No, but that is actually really cool. Um, it would be good to be able to do this with another magazine, right? Well, with a bunch of different magazines and a bunch of different ammunition. We only have a couple of these magazines and I'm trying to use this one as all my stuff. So, so even though it's a sample group of one, if it makes it through everything, then either it's the non-lemon, it's the lime and the whole bunch of lemons that actually works, and the other ones are lemons, I have no idea. Again, I have not heard anybody else's real experience with these things, so I'm trying to get it all the experience I can, get it all in while I can. Um, but this guy, yeah, scratch to crap. See all that? Wonderful scratches, yes. If you want to call that honest wear, um, actually that's not really honest wear because... You've seen what we've done to this beautiful little thing. Uh, but I'm actually pretty impressed too with the MP5. I thought it was gonna have some major hiccups there. Um, I'm definitely gonna clean it, um, cause this is a bedside gun. This is a gun that sits, that has, this is a duty gun, right? Okay, in my terms, a duty gun. But it works, it works. It works. Even with all that dirt and grime and nastiness, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. All right guys, that is round two for the AC Unity magazines for the MP5. Um, passed for me even though we did okay it's, it's a it's a negative a i'll give it a negative a or a b plus um because it did lose some rounds when you checked it out but structural integrity no this guy held up the fact that i rolled over it like i did with the truck um granted the bed was empty maybe i should have put it under the front wheels i don't know there's a bunch of different things but we'll continue to do this kind of stuff as long as we can until either it breaks or I just get tired of doing it and say, hey, it lasted long enough. That's why I said I need to standardize my test. So, if you have any suggestions for tests that need to be done to magazines, please do let me know. I am not going to do the one that I, I know are, is a good, good test because it does happen to where you have your firearm like this, you drop it, what happens? Does the magazine break or not? If it was an AR-15, I've got no problem. If it's an AK, 
I don't really have a problem with that. This gun, mm, if it wasn't for the fact that it was a stamped metal receiver and I'm, I guess that means I don't trust the MP5 to be as hardcore, but it's just so expensive to replace or to fix and I'm just not gonna do that right now. So I'm not gonna drop it. I'm not gonna do the mag drop, which would be very, very good. That That's a very, very good test because that's a real world test if you drop your gun. I'm just not gonna do that right now. But if there's any other tests that you want to see done with these magazines. I mean, obviously he feeds. I, again, I forgot to bring out my flat nose, so I need to try some flat nose ammunition, flat point, whatever, um, and hollow point. I need to try some of that to make sure this feeds it well. Um, but yeah, any, anyway, guys, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, if you like this, let me know. If you didn't like it, go ahead, let me know. Um, I read all the comments and I try to, you know, get back to every single one, positive or negative. Um, but anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Y'all be good to be safe and hopefully, Hopefully, I'm hoping I will catch you in the next video.